Hello and welcome to the third video in our series, Joomla 2.5, an introduction. Today we'll be talking about menu items and how those work in Joomla 2.5. You notice here on the home page of the site that we're looking at that there are some primary menu items like Institute and Campaigns, Cities, and then there are the drop-down menus that come down from those. If we go into the back end, here we are at our control panel and what we need to do is go to the menu manager and you have a couple of options from here you can click on the menu manager icon or you can navigate to menus and select menu manager or you can go right to the menu that you need to be working with uh, this website happens to have three different menus the main menu one for cities and the bottom menu. Let's click on menu manager and here you see our three menus are listed here. How many menu items are published within each one and any modules that we've created for those menus. And then let's click over to menu items and here you see by this pull down that we're looking at the menu items that are on the bottom menu. If I wanted I could put a filter search in here if I was looking for one particular menu item. If I change this to main menu we will now see a list of all of the items on that main menu that we can see here on the home page. So let's create a new menu item so that we can get a feel for how they work in Joomla 2.5. I'm going to click on new and here is our window. I can first select the menu type. Uh, this is very important. Uh, there are a lot of different types of menu items you can create. Of course there's the single article which is one article that you've created in the article manager. You can create a list of all categories. You can list a category in a blog format where all the articles in that category will be listed in a blog format on that menu link. Category list format where the category introduction and a list of those articles will be listed. Featured articles. This is how you create a link to your home page. Uh, the default link that will show any articles that you've set as featured in the back end of the article manager. You can even create links such as create article that might only be visible to logged in users of your website. Say if you have a community website and people can log in, they get their own personal menu that is only displayed once they're logged in and they can do things like create an article or, or manage certain things. What you're going to be using the most probably would be the single article or the category listings. You can create different menu items for your contacts extension. A list of all the contact categories, list contacts in a particular category. You can create a menu link to a single contact or a link to the featured contact. And if we scroll down, there are a lot here that you could investigate in your own time. I'm just going to go over those that might be more important to you. Use your manager. You can create a link to your login form, a link to a user profile, link to the registration form if you accept registrations on your website, link to the password reset or the username reminder. If you have custom extensions installed, you will also see options here for those. For example, we have easy blog installed so we can create menu items for different layout for the blog. We have rock gallery installed so we can create a link to a gallery view. Here's our event booking extension so we can create a link to the calendar, a link to submit an event, and then typically what you might use quite often here are system links. You can link to an external URL in the menu so that if they click on that menu item they will be taken to a different URL on a different website. One that isn't well known that is very good for search engine optimization. Uh, if you have several different menus like the top menu and the bottom menu and you have several items already created in say the top menu and you would also like them on the bottom menu. By default if you created just a single article for the top and that same article on the bottom you would get a different URL for each one to the same content and so that could pose a duplicate content issue. So if you do need to have two different menu items of the same menu I highly recommend using this menu item alias. What this allows you to do is create a link to that other menu item and therefore you can avoid those duplicate content issues so there's only ever one menu item created for each article and you simply utilize this function to create a link to that. Let's try single article. We'll click on that to create a new single article and you see it's refreshed and it says single article here and now I have the option here on the right to select the article and it brings up our article manager window. You can use the drop down if you know what category link you want. It helps 
to make it easier to find that particular one. And then I say I want to create a contact link. I can click this page for a contact can and put in the title contact. Again, you don't need to create the alias. Joomla will do that for you. You can put a note here if you like, whether or not menu item is published, public or registered, like if it was private. It's on the main menu. That's the location. And you can make this a main menu item or you can make it a child item of say institute or campaigns and it would then be nested within and be a drop down. You can select whether you want it to open in the parent browser or if you want to open it up with a new window with navigation or a new window without navigation. And everything else you can leave default. And there are some other options you can look at and these will vary based on the different type of menu item that you create but it's good to take a good look at them article options again just like we looked at in the article manager you can on a case-by-case -case basis change these article options link type options but a good one is page display options here you can set the browser page title now what is that that is if you mouse up here to the top of my Google browser tab, you'll see that there is a title there for the website. Let's go over here and you can see Compassion Action Network. By default, if you don't put anything there, what you will get for that title is whatever you put here in the menu title. But if you'd rather have some good keywords in there, you can put a title right in there like that. And once you save it, you'll get that title instead of just the one word menu title that you have. You can choose to show the page heading or not. If we go to the home page and let's click on Appleton, Wisconsin. Now we see here it says Appleton, Wisconsin, USA. And when you mouse over it changes color, that means it's a link and this is your page heading. So when it asks you if you want to display a page heading, you can select no or yeah and put that text right here. If you don't put any text there and you select yes, you'll get, just get the word contact. Again, metadata options. Here we have the option to add sp a specific meta description and meta keywords. Good for the search engines. We're using a template from Rocket Theme, so that means we have some extra options because we have the Fusion menu installed. If we wanted a subtext line on that menu, so it would say contact and underneath in smaller print, it could say something else. Columns of child items. If you know that this is going to have several child items underneath it, you can select here to have two, three, or four columns, how to distribute them, what the drop down width could be. If we're going to have two columns, you would probably have drop down width of 400 and each column would be 200, whether or not to group those child items. And Fusion menu gives us the added option of being able to have modules in that dropdown instead of just a menu item. So that's what's critical about creating a new menu item. And again, here we have all of our existing menu items. The title, the status, ordering. Of course, you see this little saved icon here. That means if I want to change the order, I can put the numbers in manually here and hit the save button or I can use these arrows these move up move down arrows and I can change the order of the menu but what's important to remember is a lot of your articles may not be available on your Joomla site unless you create a menu item for them for your website users it'll be a lot easier for them to be able to locate important information if you have a rich and detailed menu so we're thinking about the structure of your website the categories the different articles how they break down, if you can create your menu in a similar manner and have the same type of functionality, uh, great drop downs, uh, all organized so that everybody can find what they need. Uh, this makes it a lot easier. You can have a module for any of the menus that you create on your website. So here's our cities menu and if you notice we have all of the articles in our cities category listed here and they are menu item aliases of menu items we've already created in the main menu. This is our cities menu and it has a module. And here is our cities menu as a module. So not only do we have the cities listed in our main menu dropdown, but now we also have them in their own module here. This module will only be published on those city pages. So a main menu can be used to house all of your links. And then if you have a specific group of links for a specific section or category of your website, you can create a separate menu for that with its own module that can be published only on those relevant pages. We'll go into more details on modules in another video. So that was a brief introduction to menu items in Joomla 2.5. I hope it was informative and feel free to check out our other videos. Thanks.